Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekabit. I am Penge and we are back with some more This Merchant Life and it's not going very well. My merchant life is not a good one. It is a merchant life of constantly being robbed, not really knowing where the next lot of money is going to come from and uh, yes, losing all of my missions, the amount of missions I have failed because I've been attacked and then the people have looted my cart which then automatically fails these missions. I must have lost, what, at least six of these possibly? Which is bad because, you know, if they're paying 300 each, that's quite a lot of gold. So, today's objective is, can we get to 5,000 gold in the next 11 days? We've got 3,090 gold and we have a caravan, cart type thing, full of stuff. So we've got 14 grain and 11 fruit. So what the idea is going to be, we're going to go up here, we're in... Arkhan at the moment. We're going to go up here to Randos, which looks like the capital city of the sort of woodland area. And we shall sell all the grain there, because that's going for the above average price. And then we could possibly head over to Aton and sell the fruit, because that's going for above an average price just there. So that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm tempted, I'm very tempted to do something with my cart. I'm very tempted to upgrade the structure of my cart. It's very expensive. I know I've only got 11 days to get that 5,000 gold, but... It gives us an extra point of defence, a bit more capacity, which is probably a good thing, but also a point of concealment. Because at the minute, we're on 5 out of 10 for target rating, which is probably not good. So I'd say it's a 50-50 as to whether we're going to get attacked or not. And given the luck we've had so far, then I'd say yes, we are going to get flipping well attacked. So how about we upgrade the cart? Now I think I had a skill, didn't I? Was it uh, not that one? Was it that one? 10% reduction in cart upgrade prices. So this is a bit cheaper. So it's a tiny little bit cheaper. So I think we go for this. I think we invest in the cart a little bit. So this will be intriguing then. What's going to happen? Okay, nothing really dramatic happened except possibly some bits appeared on the bottom and there's some more stuff appeared in the back. But okay, that's fine. So the next upgrade, it costs a lot of money, but it ups the speed and the capacity goes up an absolute massive load. Wowee, okay. Um, horses, yeah, up to speed by one, and wheels. Oh, yeah, wheels increases the capacity, which I don't fully understand, but there we go. Okay, so now, now we've got a bit more room. We've got two more, we've got two more space, which is jolly good. And if we look at that now, we're still on five. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to increase our concealment, but no, it, it did not. It did not at all. Okay, well, never mind. Um, okay, so what what's going on up in uh, Randos or Aton? So, uh, fruit iron. Can we buy some iron from here? Is is iron cheap here? No, iron is ridiculously expensive here. Okay, let's not go for iron. What about ale? Is anything in here cheap? Oh, we could buy just some more fruit. We could buy a couple more fruit bits here. Yeah, let's just buy two more fruit. That'll do. Uh, and then we're going to need to get some people. Because currently, <laughs> currently we have nobody. We've done a very good job of <laughs> killing all the people that have come to defend us. So, oh my goodness me. The monks are hideously expensive. They're very, very good, but they're very expensive. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Okay. But you're quite good. I might get myself a monk. 242, 32 of 100. But yeah, he's got, what, what, 11 more points of morale on board. So he's going to remain with me for longer, is Landon. Landon the monk is going to remain with me for longer. He is a big investment. And that, that is. One of the things that I'm having a problem with in this game is that the people are really expensive. The guards are very, very expensive. Either they're quite cheap, but they're a little bit rubbish. I mean, this guy's got one. <laughs> he's an old soldier, and he's got the combat, prow a combat prowess of one. <laughs> what are you doing, man? And he's got one health. That's fine. He's old. That's fine. Whereas a monk, a monk could take on this guy. This old, you know, grisly soldier man. Grr, I've been through many wars. And then just some monk who just sits in a monastery all day. <laughs> he can go and whoop him. So, yeah, the cost of people is very expensive. We might go for the monk and the old soldier. But that's 510 gold. That's so much gold. That's so much gold. We're going to need to get another 3,000 gold. Uh, okay, are there any missions, actually? Peasants to Woodford. Peasants to Woodford up there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We could do that. We could certainly give that a go. Right, is anything above the average price there? Wool. Uh, and can we, can we buy wool? Is there any wool around? Any wool? Uh, no, in the in the market. Uh, oh, no, oh no, it's not that cheap actually. Um, also, I did just notice we could do this. We can go and explore Arakon because it might give us a thing. 
Okay, so there are three decisions at the bottom. It seems impossible not to be overawed by the sight of Archon. Sitting at the centre of a large plane. Ah, it was planes. Okay, you can see it from miles away. And it seems to sit unmoved by attempts to reach it. Eventually, though, you'll find yourself at the gates. Everything here is on a completely different scale. The walls of the city contain themselves so much stone. Sorry, contain so much stone that somewhere in the kingdom there must be a mountain-sized absence or a hole to the underworld. Houses sprawl from the walls with shops lining the thoroughfare into the city. In the distance, you can make out the royal quarter from where the kingdom is run. Or at least that was the idea. You see three different bards standing fairly close to each other along the thoroughfare. A good chance to learn a little about the capital, but which to listen to? So... The Exposition Bard. The black and white bard stands magpie-like, attracting few onlookers. Red. Draped in a blood-red garb, a large crowd has formed around him. Smart. This bard is immaculately dressed with a feather in his cap. Ooh. I'm going to go to one that hasn't got many people around him. Just because that I feel like I should. I feel like I should go and support him. Because the other two... The red guy's got a lot of people. The smart guy's obviously fancy pants rich guy. Exposition guy looks kind of cool. He stands magpie-like, attracting few onlookers. Yeah, let's go and see Exposition Bard. Okay, so we've got some wits. Okay, the exhibition bard looks rather put out having to compete with the other two, and few are paying her much attention, despite superior liar work. She serenades you with facts about the capital. Archon is a seat of government for the entire kingdom of Peregrine, and also the regional capital of the Heartlands, which contains Arrow, Lancer, and Oxtown. Okay, so the orange ones are the Heartlands. Okay. The twin rulers, Elizande and Theodora, rule the kingdom together, which has been the tradition of Peregrine since its formation. Na uh, normally effective, this system has collapsed in the years since they were elected, with constant battles between the two and their supporters accepted as fact rather than rumour. Okay, so the kingdom is not in a good place. Okay. Uh, ah! Have I got a bard friend? Io is an expedition bard based in the capital. Ah, there we go. So that's what you do. You meet people. That's what these are. These are things of interest at the particular city. Okay. Right, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, so, yeah, missions. Let's take on a mission. Let's take on this one. Escort the peasants to Woodford. Because our missions have been absolutely brilliant so far. So there we go. And let's get ourselves the monk at the top. Because he's going to hang around for a long time. Hang on. If we hire the old soldier... Yes, I don't know how much they want paying. The old soldier, if you pay him 50, it gives you an extra 30 loyalty. So he'll stay around for longer. But I think these are probably 100. 100 for 30 loyalty. So, yeah, that monk there is probably worth it in the long run. Let's take you on board. 200. Ah, oh, that's so expensive. I need something to make people cheaper. Okay. And now, let's go up here. 35 hours. To Randos, and I'm running out of time. I've now got 10 days left. Uh, okay, have I got that mission on board? Yes. Okay, right. Let's go, and let's no doubt get attacked by something or someone on the way. Hey, bandits. Okay. Desperation breeds crime and disorder and banditry, and these are truly desperate times for many. It's harder to feel sympathy for people when they have their swords leveled at you, though. Indeed. Right. Well, I'm not going to pay them 200 gold because they'll attack me anyway, like they did before. So, right, let's go and have a fight. Come on, then. Yes. Uh, right, so there's two of them. They're attacking from two different areas. So I just need to hope that I'm going to put you just there and you just there. And it's completely potluck. It's absolutely potluck. For some reason, I can't see, even though I'm in a big sort of circle of floorage, there's floor space here. I can't see where they're attacking from. So there could be four guys here and one very weak man there. But yeah, I, I feel like I should get some sight of... Of, of what the enemy sort of composition is like, what they're like, and whether, you know, there's two of them or four of them, or whether the, these are this one gigantic ogre, and just here is, you know, three weedy guys armed with kitchen knives. I don't... I feel like I should have some more insight into who's coming to attack me, but okay, um, let's begin the battle. Oh, this should be easy peasy. Well, Jarrett might... It depends on Jarrett's skill. He might struggle. Landon will have you. You'll be gone. He'll be dead. But yeah, you might struggle. Okay, let's see what happens then. Yeah, we lost. We lost our guy. We lost our old soldier guy. So we just hired someone for utterly no reason. Do not ransack my caravan. Thank you very much. It's got a defense of four, which is good. Yay, and our defense is held. Oh my goodness me. Finally. So our mission is still applicable. The peasants are still in there. Another thing. Wolves. Okay, I'm going to run away. Um, okay, these wolves appear particularly hungry. Ah. Oh. No, <laughs> no, no. Right, assign you to where the wolves are. Yeah, oh, there's three of them. There's three wolves. Okay, next turn. 
yes, I won. Okay, so I've taken a wolf down. Next turn, I've taken a wolf down. Next turn. Oh, you are brilliant, Landon. Oh, Landon is the hero. Nothing looted from the enemy. Oh, come on. Come on. Wolf pelts. Go sell them. Make hides out of them or something. Oh, three things on the one journey. Good grief. Um, okay. Um, persuade. Let's see if we can persuade him. It didn't work last time and we'll end up fighting him anyway. But if it does work, hurrah. Um, oh. What? Okay, right. So, I mean, realistically, the chances of talking him out of the whole enterprise of robbing you are pretty slim. When it is essentially his raison d'etre, his very reason for being. That is what he does for a living. And there isn't any obvious reason for him to just let you pass. Still, you offer him a job and gladly he accepts. They're not all so bad, these highwaymen and women. Just most of them. Have I got him on board? Uh, oh, no. I, I've offered him a job, but he hasn't actually accepted a job in any kind of way. Okay, fine. Right, Randos. Uh, yeah, okay, all that stuff. Um, what was going in R Randos? How do I view the uh, the things? With the... the uh, do I want to click away and then click back onto it? Above average price was wheat. That was it. That's what I was going to do. Market. Go to just here. Uh, I was going to set... Oh, it's only 11. Uh, grain, sorry, not wheat. It's only 11. That's not really very exciting at all. So if we sell our 14 lots of grain, if we sell like that, that, that. Yeah, that's just normal price. Do you know what? Should we just get rid of all the grain? Get rid of all that. That frees up some space in the uh, in the cart. What does Woodford want? Oh, Woodford wants ale. There is clearly something going on in Woodford that requires some lovely beer. So, uh, okay, yeah, let's buy the rest of ale, shall we? We've got 14 slots left. Yeah, buy all the ale you can, please. Thank you. Uh, and any missions? Any missions? A fine blade to Archon. Okay, we could do that on the way back. Wolves on the road to Woodford. 800 gold. <sighs> Oh, do we hire another person? Do we go to the tavern and hire someone who's half decent? A soldier of fortune could be quite good because he's got two hit points. He's got two health. Ethelberg. Yeah, we'll hire you, Ethelberg. And then we'll go and do this. Now, this could be risky. This could be stupid. This could be a stupid thing to do. But it pays 800 gold to kill some wolves. How difficult? How difficult can it be to kill some wolves? Let's take that mission. If we go to Woodford, so Wood, this could be a big payday if we go over here. We'll get 800 gold for that. We'll sell all the stuff. We'll sell the beer. Uh, we'll try and sell the whatever it is. We've got fruit, or the fruit could go back to there, possibly. But yeah, okay. Let's see if we can do this then. And we've got people already on board for Woodford. So we've got some peasants for 500. Okay, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> let's see if we can actually succeed in doing one thing. So uh, road speed is okay. Road security is fine. Uh, oh, here we go. Right. Were these the wolves that we're supposed to be killing? Or are these other wolves? Uh, okay. Well, I think we probably need to fight them just in case it's the mission. Although I think it says mission in the corner, doesn't it? Do you know what? I think we have to fight it. Yeah, well, you had your chance. Yes. Let's let's fight the wolves. Uh, okay, right. Potluck again. You, know, you can go at the top. You can go at the bottom. That'll have to do. Right. Begin the battle. Um, okay, right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. They're both kind of equally as skilled as each other, so let's see how they get on. Uh, right, we've won. One wolf is down, and you have killed the other wolf. Yay! Right. Is that my 800 gold that I just got paid? No. Oh, this is the mission. Okay, that wasn't even the mission. Okay. Oh, this should be an absolute piece of cake. There you go. You two take on the wolf. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wolves. Okay. And player wins. And next turn, player wins. Did we, and we got three hides from that. I don't know where we're going to put those, but okay. Did we get 800 gold from it? Yes. Bandits. The, the, the offer is 800 gold. Right, okay. To battle once more. I would quite like there to be slightly less combat. Because, I mean, obviously one of those was a mission. But still, on the road between Archon and Woodford, which is one stop in the middle, this would be the fifth combat we've had. Five combats is quite a lot. Okay, right. To battle once more. Yes, we have to do this. Merchants versus bandits. The ultimate grudge match. Uh, okay, right. Again, potluck as to who goes where. You there and you there. Begin the battle. Oh, Ethelberg, you kind of got... You're a bit ganged up on there, buddy. But I think you'll be absolutely fine. Oh, no. You took it. You took a point of damage. The enemy won't. Come on, Ethelberg. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Okay, nothing looted from the enemy. Well, of course there isn't. Right. We've got 554 gold for the peasants. We've completed a mission. <laughs> Hurrah! Long last. Okay. Uh, we've got lots of ale that they're buying. 108. Good grief. 
Okay, well that's made quite a lot of monies. That's quite nice. Uh, herbs. Herbs are selling for less. Do they want to buy herbs? Where wanted herbs? Nowhere. Nowhere wanted herbs. Okay, I'm just making it up. Uh, so, Aton wants fruit and also iron. Can we buy any iron from here? Is, is iron on the cheap side of things? No, it's only timber. So planks, which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, never mind then. So we've got some hides, which I think were free. I think we got given those, didn't we? They were free hides from killing the merchants or the wolves or whatever it was. So let's just sell those. Let's just get them out of the cart. So 13 out of 27, and it's all to do with fruit. I'm going to keep that fruit, because we can sell that there. May we go back to here? Oh, no, but yeah, they want beer, look. But the beer is cost here. Beer, ale, whatever. is above the average price for just there. Have we got any missions on board? Peasants, wolves, or a donate quest. I could do that, you know. Two wheat, two planks, one food. Let's just do that. Two wheat, two planks, one food. Go to there, donate that. So that gets me a little bit of reputation. That's absolutely fine. Uh, how are my security guys doing? Oh, right, I need to pay them some money, I think. Yes, please stay on board. You bo you're both seem to be actually quite good. <laughs> You've both lived. Yay, well done on not being dead. Um, there's nothing really that I want to particularly buy. What's that? Bloody minded. Chance to regain one health when it drops to zero. Oh, Bryce. You're like some sort of crazy survivalist. I might buy all the rest of those herbs, just because we can, because it's 42 rather than 70, which is quite good. So if we buy all of those, lovely, and then there's no missions that I want to do from here. Uh, oh no, we could do that, actually. We could do that. We can take on wolves now. Wolves on the road to Randos. So we could take that for 600 gold. Take that on. That gets us 600 gold on the way back to where we need to go anyway. You're all okay. The only thing is, you've only got one hit point now. Could do with healing you up somehow, but I don't know how. Yeah, go on. No guts, no glory. <laughs> I expect my guts are going to be... or well, the guts of the guys are going to be uh, scattered out across the floor, but never mind. Right, here's the mission. Oh, good. They're both in the same sort of quadrant. That's fine. Begin the battle. I think we've got this covered. Player wins. Player wins. Beautiful. Nothing looted, but we got given lots of gold. Okay, right then. A tedious stretch. It's not exactly clear why, but some sections of road are particularly dull. You spend a good deal of your life on the road, and you find some interest in most paths, no matter how well trodden. But this particular stretch is entirely unremarkable and without redeeming factors. The road is straight and narrow, while the views on both sides are entirely humdrum. So, focus on the world, focus on yourself, or merchant mode. Uh, well, shall I go into merchant mode? And, I don't know, maybe I'll accrue something, or increase my selling power, or something, I don't know. Merchant mode. Ooh, a hundred coins and some wits. Your mind goes to the place it often does when it slips into neutral. Some sort of merchant mode. You silently tally up your current stock and calculate its rough value, the numbers popping into existence above each item within this mental image of the caravan's contents. You think about the town that lies ahead and what will be expensive there and what will not. About this road and the relative dangers, the fighters you have hired or should have hired to help you protect this caravan and you. For a moment you picture the country as a series of interconnected nodes thin lines linking hubs like some vast spider's web. That would be weird. What an imagination you have. There we go. That was cool. So I've taken care of that. We've got 3,493. Six days to make 1,600 gold. I don't know if we can do it. Right, herbs are cheap here as well. Fruit is also cheap here. I've got nothing else on board. So we've got some hides at 24. Do you need hides up there? No, you want ale. You particularly want ale. Is ale cheap here. No, it is not. And also selling these things here is also going to be a little bit a little bit of a money loss. How about I sell what? Seven herbs. Because I think I bought them for cheaper than that. And buy seven ale and take it up to the place we're going to anyway. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that gives us some monies. Buy the rest of the ale that we can. That's good. Missions. Right, I've not got any missions on board now, have I? So, a traveller to Oxtown. Oh, that's quite a long way. That's a long, long way. I could go back to Woodford. I could go back to Woodford. 700 gold. Right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Aton and sell them the fruit that I've got and the ale and see how much money that makes. Right, how how loyal are my people? Right, I'm going to have to pay you 100 gold. The money goes away so quickly. Right, another 11 hours. A moving library. 
It's fairly common to see a cart of some kind heading in the opposite direction. Often it turns out to be local farmers or villagers heading to the nearest town. This cart looked like much like all the others on the horizon, but as it approaches, you quickly detect that it is rather notable. It appears to be some form of travelling library, a rickety construction apparently on wheels and seemingly to defy physics by moving along and not collapsing. It has a wooden roof, what appears to be a working chimney, which cannot be a good idea inside a moving vehicle. A travelling librarian, an earnest and surprisingly young fellow named Sebastian, explains that he has a world-class selection of books available to buy or borrow. So we can borrow a book which costs 100 coins. Surely I'm buying a book for that price. Or I'm doing nothing. Do you know what? I know I'm trying to get a load of money, but yeah, let's see what this does, because this might give me something really cool. So 100 XP, that's always useful, and some wit. So yes, the librarian is happy to lend you a book for a small fee, which you will collect whenever you next run into each other. Uh, oh, so I've not paid 100 yet. Have I? I just did. Oh, I don't know. Okay, fine. Right, let's carry on. An accident. The hole in the road was so deep it may go down to the underworld, and the front right wheels went directly into it. Sometimes the most dangerous thing about travelling on the roads are the roads themselves. Okay, well, patch them as best I can. The wounds attended to. Oh no, the cursing eventually subsides. Injured, I'm injured. Oh dear. Okay, so I've taken some damage, have I? Do I need to visit the apothecary? No. Who got injured then? I don't know who was injured. Okay, well, whatever. Right, okay. Right, let's sell some stuff. So they want ale, so let's sell all of the ale. 3,900. Come on. And then uh, fruit here. Fruit here is ridiculous. There you go. I'm going to make a nice profit on that. <gasps> I've got 5,000 gold. I've got 5,000 gold. Now I've just got to actually last six days. Or is that just, like, can I do this now? Do I need to, do I need to keep the 5,000 gold at the end of this? Here, look, complete. Yes, I can do this. Gather 5,000 gold. Unlock tier 2 perks. <gasps> oh, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. However, that will leave me with 134 gold. Let's just see what else there is around. Missions. Uh, deserters. No, they sound quite They sound quite hard. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, let's buy two grain, two planks, and one food while we're here. Uh, two grain, two planks, one food. Do... Uh, nope, that's the wrong screen. Do that thing. That gets us a bit of reputation. A chest to arrow or deserters on the road to Randos. Uh, okay, that's all the way down there. That's quite a long way away. Uh, arrow. Randos is just there. But they're probably going to be really tough. Deserters. If it's 800 gold, will my people be able to cope with that? Will my security guys be able to deal with that? He's injured. He's injured as it is. Would I take someone else on? Possibly take on like a oh, 368. <laughs> Goodness me. A local hunter is quite good. Two security, so two combat power. He's only got one hit point, though, which is not very good. You're very good. Increase security by one if in the same quadrant as another veteran. Oh, okay. Well, we haven't got any of those. But yeah, 368 and 376 is really expensive, but then we would get 800 gold out of it, which is particularly good. So shall we go for you? You're only, you've got one more point of morale, which is fine. Let's hire you. Hire you, Orla. All of the guardsmen. Hello. Pay the soldier of fortune a bit more. Then take on that mission. Take that mission on. And then do we take that one on as well? The chest to Arrow. So we can go to Randos, stock up on some stuff, go to Archon, and then go to Arrow. Yeah, why the heck not? Let's just let's just risk it. Let's go completely crazy. There we go. Splendid. And then we might want to actually buy some stuff. So we have got something in the We've got seven things in there, have we? Oh, we've got some herbs. Oh, okay. Does anyone want to buy any herbs particularly? Do you, do you care? No one really cares around here, do they? What about our oh, herbs? Uh, you don't really care. Hides is what they want. Oh, herbs over in Oxtown could be good. That's above the average price. What do you want there? What's above the average price? Oh, that's all fancy things in Archon. Arrow. Just hides. Hides are cheap in Randos. Uh, I think they're the same price here, aren't they? Okay, so we'll leave the cart like that at the minute. There's no point just loading it up with stuff for no reason. That'll make us slightly less of a target, which is good. So the minute, yeah, target three, and it's green. That's a good thing. So maybe they'll leave us alone. Maybe they will leave us alone. So, um, yeah, we've got the deserter's mission, which we should be able to hopefully deal with, and then a chest all the way down to arrow. So let's go back to here. Yep, yeah, on we go. There we go. Right, here's the mission. Ah, now this is the only thing. Right, so 
Soldier of Fortune, Ethelberg is going to need to be accompanied by someone because he only has one hit point. So let's put you and then the... Mm, no. The monk? Yeah, you and the monk in that one and then the guardsman in that one. And you watch, there'll be one person up here in the top quadrant and two people for all of them within the bottom one. Yay! <laughs> I think... I think that always happens. I don't. I can't remember a situation where I've put them down. I've placed my people, and then it's worked out the right way round. So you, I've, you're probably going to die. Orla is probably going to get killed because they're quite. They've got two hit points each. Uh, after it, right after you finish, can you? Yeah. So look, Orla took a point of damage, and now they're dead. So can I not now move you guys? Can I not move you? Because now you're just stood there. You're just stood watching this guy get beaten up. You're watching Orla get killed. No, right, Orla took you down. This is good. Are they joining in now? North and south. Look, they're doing something. I think they join in. I think the guys at the top have now realised that there's nothing going on in the top sector. And they're now joining in down here, I think. Player wins. All right, you're down. This is good. You're down to one. Come on, please, 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 please. Just one. one let, let me have this. Let me have this. Oh, beautiful. And we've got to loot something off them. Five herbs. Oh, fantastic. Yes, 5,300. Uh, okay, what's this? When a burly man approaches a caravan, apparently armed to the teeth, you instinctively tap the hilt of your sword. Everyone tenses as he approaches. As he gets a little closer, you recognise him as a touring soul, a wandering chef, travelling far and wide to expand their culinary horizons in the eternal quest for taste perfection. As is the tradition, he has two cleavers on his back, a knife and a chopping board hanging from his belt, and a vicious-looking grater strapped to one shoulder. Touring souls really do look terrifying, which does seem like a recipe for disaster. He's happy to purchase supplies from you in his latest adventures in Aftertaste, but I have no foodie supplies. I've got some herbs. Herbs might be a nice thing you could put into there. Herbs are good, but no, sell nothing. I don't have anything. Never mind. Uh, I just still favour you with a terrific recipe before continuing his journey. I like him. He sounds cool, man. Um, yeah, let's approach the shrine. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that was a shrine quest. We've seen that probably two or three times before. You go toward the shrine and it's all fine. Right then, so we're in Randos. Now, I think we can buy loads of hides from here. So our current mission is get the chest down to Arrow. So we're going to go down to Archon, buy a load of hides, sell them in Arrow, which is fine. Archon also wants planks, like wood. Uh, is that cheap here? Oh, it is a little bit. Yeah, actually, it is a little bit cheap. So we could buy... One, two, three, four, five of that, certainly. And one, two, three, four, five of that. And then that leaves us five capacity left. What else is cheap here? Herbs are still cheap here, so I don't want to sell the 12 I've got. Uh, anything else particularly cheap? Uh, no, well, okay, well, let's just buy a couple more of each one of those. One, two, and then another plank. That'll do. Uh, any missions going on down this way? Bandits on the road to Woodford, not going that way. Uh, traveller to Oxtown could possibly take that on. Could do that. It's three journeys and I have got to keep paying these guys a lot of money. But that would pay in the long run. Five days though. How long is it going to take to get down there? That's a day and a bit to get to Archon. I don't think I'll be able to do that one. Uh, no. Okay, let's not take that on. Let's not take that on right now. It's only 198 gold as well. It's not that much payoff. Okay, so let's just head down to Archon then. So our mission currently is just get this chest to Arrow. So let's try and do that. So let's go down here. 35 hours. Right, and I'm going to keep an eye on this because I don't want them to all go away. Okay, Rafiq. <laughs> Hello again. Yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, 300 coins. I don't want to do this. Okay, after you've spent long enough on the road, you start to feel as though every caravan, every cart, and every wagon has its own distinct audible signature. This may be utter nonsense, but you do hear Rafiq's caravan approaching before you see it, and somehow you are sure that it will be him appearing over the horizon. Duly, he does. He seems to know that it is you as he gets up and waves from the front of his cart. Your caravan and his come to a halt alongside each other, going in opposite directions. Hail! He shouts as a greeting. It is a pleasure to see you once again, my fellow master of trade. We are like two friends... Uh, what? No, hang on, let me try that again, but do the words that it says. We are like two legendary heroes meeting on the battlefield in some ancient and long-forgotten war. We are rivals, but also friends. We can respect each other even as we duel. You roll your eyes instinctively. He challenges you and your cart to a race against his. Half a mile back, 
He passed an old stone building that will serve as the finish line. Of course, there is a wager attached. I'm going to go for it. I know it will push us down below our gold limit, but I think we can beat him. We can beat him, surely. Come on. He is delighted. Apparently, he has upgraded his cart speed significantly through a number of tedious sounding methods. You push hard and so does he, but he gradually pulls ahead. And by the time the old stone building appears in your view, he has already reached it. When you arrive, he greets you. You are like one who carries the weight of the world on their shoulders. Or at least you move about as fast. You cheated, Rafiq. I would have quite liked to have known the fact that you've upgraded your cart speed through a number of tedious methods before I took on a wager predominantly based on cart speed. Right. Okay, that could have been a fatal mistake there. Okay, right. Well, let's see if we can get down here and then just sell some stuff. No, not a collision. <laughs> it is a rather treacherous stretch of road, more in terms of the poor state of the road itself rather than any prevalence of bandits in the environs. A merchant cart comes up behind yours and rather unusually immediately overtakes your speeding away. Unfortunately, the next bandit is going way too fast, loses a lot of control and collides with another trade cart coming the other way. As you approach the collision, you are relieved to see that no one appears to have been hurt and the damage to both carts is actually surprisingly light, all things considered. However, the two merchants are facing off angrily. It looks like someone is going to get hurt after all. Okay, so I can either ride on and ignore it all, I can play the peacemaker, or I can point out the speed the merchant was travelling when he was overtaking me. I'm going to play the peacemaker. Come on, it was an accident. That's the whole point. Uh, I'm on a point of calm. Ah, calm. Have I actually got any of these? Ah! I've got sharp wit, so I'm not very brave, but I have sharp wit, and I'm quite a spiritual person. Oh, that's quite good. You remind the two that as merchants all, you are bonded. They are lucky not to have been hurt, and to have escaped with little apparent damage to carts and goods, and should take this as a reminder to travel more carefully. They both stare at their feet for a moment before in unison turning you to mind your own business. They appear quickly to bond over their shared irritation at your involvement, so at least a fight seems to have been averted. Oh well, you tried. <laughs> so instead of them fighting each other, they then started muttering about me and calling me an idiot. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll go with that. Right, I'm here in Arkhan. Let's go to the market. Yes, you wanted all these planks. So let's sell all those planks. Still not quite above 5,000 gold. Uh, and yeah, the fruit is so cheap here. What have we got on board? We've got loads of herbs. I'm tempted to just sell the herbs. Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them out of the caravan. We can't... They, nobody wants... Them. Oh, no. Oxtown wants herbs. Could we make it to Oxtown in time? And Arrow wants... Ah, hides. Yes. Now, we have got hides on board, haven't we? We've got animal hides. So, we could sell those over there. That's good. Do, do either of you want fruit? Delicious fruit? Ah, and Oxtown wants fruit as well. Okay. Well, how about then? Uh, is there a mission as well? A letter to Woodford. Bandit... Oh, 900. Okay. That's probably really, really, really difficult. That's probably very hard to do. Um, should we do that? Three wheat, three planks, two iron. Three, can I do that? Three wheat, three planks, two iron. Uh, yes, just. So three wheat, three planks, two iron. And then go here and do a donate thing. Yes, yeah, so and my reputation is going up here, which is good. This is good. Uh, and then, yes, market, let's... Um, oh, are my people still on board? Oh, no! Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. I've lost whoever that was. That was just like an old grizzly old soldier or something, wasn't it? Um, let's keep the guardsman. Let's top up you with 160. Ah, oh, the money's fr fr frittering away. We've got three days. Um, yeah, if we get to there, that'll pay us off. That'll be quite nice to Arrow. So Arrow, we're after hides. Okay. So now we need to buy a lot of these. So let's buy some more of those. And now they're going above the price. We don't want those anymore. And then Oxtown wanted fruit. So let's go back here to the market and then buy the rest of fruit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got 4,214 gold. Hopefully we can make all that up by going to just here. Go to Arrow. Deliver the chest. That's 400. Sell the stuff. It's 16 hours, so please, no incidents. Nothing happened. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 408 gold is delivered straight away. Hides. Sell those. Sell all of those just we're just above the very very minimum limit and i am going to go and do this thing uh wherever it was where was it uh this thing established where was it there was a button i had to press there's a button i had to press to do the thing hang on where was the button to do the thing oh it's up here you click at the top of course so yeah let's do this now i do like the way that you can just debug it you can just cheat <laughs> it's going i did it no, you didn't. So yeah, look, there's one, two, so we're at level one. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
eight guild level. So I'm level one then in the Merchant's Guild. Ah, okay. So this is not... I don't know what that is at the top then. What's that thing? Not established. That's all of them. And this is saying that in the Heartlands, I've got... The, oh, that's a different area. So the Heartlands, the Forest, the Mountains, and the Coast. Right. Okay. This is telling me what there is in each of those places. Right. Okay. Uh, well, let's do this then. Let's complete this. Two days left. Let's give them the 5,000 gold. Let's fill in the forms. Hand over the coins. Yes. So now we are rank two. So we've got 28 days left to get 10,000 gold. I... I I don't really like the time limit. I like the um, I like the freedom of just going around and just bumbling about and doing stuff. I don't really like the fact that there's a time limit applied to it. But okay, never mind. Well, that looks nice. Look, nice field of yellow things, yellow flowers. Skills-wise, we're not quite there. But yeah, I want to get that. I want to get this rare goods because that's going to make things far better. Right, and uh, missions, no missions currently going on. So where are we? Uh, whereabouts are we? Oh, we're in Arrow. Of course we are. There we are. Uh, missions. A letter to Aton. Where's Aton? Aton's all the way up there. That seems quite a long journey for that. Uh, or bandits on the road to Archon. We could give that a go shortly uh, on the way back. But uh, I want to go up here to Oxtown to sell the fruit that we have. Because we've got quite a lot of fruit, as far as I'm aware. Uh, caravan. Yeah. Oh, no. Only five fruit. Okay. Five fruit and 12 herbs. Uh, which they want both of those, actually. So that could be a nice profit, thinking about it. That could be a, quite a tidy profit going on just there. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's go over to Oxtown. Uh, can I buy any more stuff? How full is the thing? 17. I could buy some more stuff from here. Is, is it affordable? Like fruit or her wool. Oh, wool's very cheap here. How do they want wool? Oh, no, it's cheap there as well. Where wants wool? Does anyone want any wool? Probably up here wants wool to, you know, keep warm. Because you live on a mountain. No, you're fine. You're fine. You don't need wool. Okay. Um, let's just buy ourselves some more... What else do they want? Above average price. Iron or planks? What about iron and sort of wood? Are they cheaper here? No. Okay, do you know what? Let's just buy a load of wood. That'll do. And then let's head over to Oxtown. Yep. Yeah, let's go that way. Keep an eye on our security, guys. Hope that they don't actually... Oh, no. The buttons have vanished. For keep it... Oh, because I can't afford it. Oh, dear. Right, we desperately need to get there really quickly. Yay, we're here. Let's go to the market and let's sell all the stuff. So let's sell all the herbs for 926. Let's sell the five fruit we've got for 1300. And then let's sell all the planks. Okay, so we went from two gold to one and a half thousand gold. Beautiful. That was very good. Missions. A fine blade back to Archon. We're going that way anyway. And deserters on the road to Arrow. Well, we're going that way. We're going both of those ways. So let's do this first. Let's do this donate thing. Two wheat, two planks. One meat, two wheat, two planks, one meat. I don't know what we're doing there. What are we doing? We're donating some wheat, some wood, and some planks. Are you having a barbecue or something? I don't know. But there you go. That's one mission done. Uh, yeah, let's take both of those. So the combat mission and the escort mission. Go to the tavern. We need to hire another person, I rather suspect. You've got a bit more morale, so you'll do Norma. <laughs> Norma the hunter, you will suffice. Please come on board. Let's keep the monk, keep the guardsman. There we go. So we've frittered away some of our monies already. And we have an empty cart. So what do we want to take? Hides are above average price. Hides and meat and planks. So let's have a quick look here then. So we're in the market. Meat. Oh yeah, meat's quite cheap here. Uh, and hides are as well. So if we buy, what if we buy five of each of those? Five each of those. But Arrow wants planks and hides. Planks, hides, and meat. Okay, uh, let's do that then. So let's buy, and the planks are the same price here. Let's just buy lots of that. Look, da, 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 da. and I don't know, that many, that many, and an extra meat. There we go. 182 gold left. We have got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of people here couple of missions on the go. So now there's going to be some deserters. Okay, let's head this way then. Take on the deserters. Wild animals. Right, well, we could lose 10 grain. I don't really understand this because I haven't got 10 grain. But okay, let's do that. And use my wits. Get it out of the way of the wolves. That's fine. Where were the deserters? From Oxtown to Arrow. There weren't any. <laughs> there were no deserters. I found no deserters. Unless there were wolves. 
In which case, they're wolves. And how? what are they deserting from? Uh, okay. That's weird then. So that quest didn't pick up. That quest did not kick in at all. Uh, okay, well that's a bit irritating. Uh, let's sell uh, some of these hides. Yeah, they weren't desperate for food, were they? Archon wanted food. Oh yeah, look. The, yes. Yes. Let's go and do that then. Uh, so let's sell all the hides here. Get rid of those. And if we buy all the meat, like so, that leaves us with not much money. But then, when we get to Archon, we can sell it off and have lots of monies. I don't know what to do with this. We went from Oxtown to Arrow, and there were no deserters. So, okay, fine. Let's just go with the next one. A letter, bandits on the road. Well, let's take that one as well, then. More bandits. Yeah, okay. I'm a bit worried about this now. Go on, then. Uh, how's my security doing? They're still here. Okay, this is the mission. This is fine. Oh, we can just load it up with three people. Beautiful. Yep, yeah, I think you guys are going to get killed. Bosh. Bosh. Dead. Dead in the face. Yay! Yeah, there we go. So we've got some money from it. It worked. Um, hello? Yes? I've done that. I can't do it again. 26 days. Okay, yeah, I know. Thank you. That was weird. Uh, and we've escorted that blade back, so 354. Right, let's sell some all this meat for 60. We bought it for far less than that. So this should make us quite a nice profit. Bump. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, that was very, very welcome indeed. That was good. Randos wants hides. I think hides are fairly expensive here, aren't they, anyway? Kind of their normal price just there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, skills. Skills. Can I have this? Yes. Unlocks the ability to trade rare goods. You're like a proper merchant now. Boom. Yes, please. I will have rare goods. And now... I can click on this. Yes. Okay, right. I've got some decent things. Okay, this is splendid. And I think what we're going to do is, now we've done that, I'm a bit more positive about this. I think at the end of the last part, I was I was feeling a bit down. I was feeling a bit down about this. I was like, oh no, it's gone wrong. I, I think what we're going to do is we'll keep going with this. I'm going to do at least another part, I think, just to see how we get on. Just to see how we get on. Because now we've got the rare items. We can obviously go through and sell different things now. So we've got ourselves whatever that is. I need to learn what they are actually. What are they? Um, so they are, what's that? Pottery, cloth, wine, yes. Salt, weapons, and medicine. So there must be another thing for extra rare items then. The finest things. Yeah, okay. So when you're level, whatever it's four, merchant commander, you can get the finest things, which are the things at the end. Uh, they look like... Possibly books and possibly like sort of liquor, stuff like that. Maybe there's like diamonds and gold and stuff like that. But okay, no, but we've got the rare stuff. So we've got some of the rare stuff, which is good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, medicine and weapons and stuff. Weapons are cheap here. Weapons and cloth. Weapons are particularly cheap. And cloth is quite cheap too. Do you need any of those? They want cloth. Okay, that's quite good. We could buy some cloth and send it up there. That's good. And pottery. Yeah, so now we can buy some extra stuff. This is jolly exciting. And 26 days. I imagine now we're going to find it easy to make money. If we can keep shipping the rare things, that should be okay. A minor interruption there. Someone rang the doorbell. So we're looking at this. So we could, because we're going to be earning some more money now, because we can get the finer items. We have to remember that we can't, you know, we don't need to just buy the finer items on their own. We can indeed still keep buying the regular items because they make a bit of money. Like that fruit. The fruit made an awful lot of money. But um, yeah, I think we could possibly do with now upgrading our cart a little bit. We might possibly spend quite a bit of money. Well, let's do the wheels. Let's do the wheels first because it gives us a point of speed, which is good, and a little bit more capacity. So this is what? Improved spokes. So they're the bits that attach the outer wheel bit to the inner wheel bit. Oh, it says there, in fact, <laughs> they connect the hub to the rim. I like outer wheel bit and inner wheel bit myself. But yeah, let's upgrade those. Ah, well, improved or just more of them, possibly. I don't know. And then um, we've got a bit of money left. We could, we could upgrade the structure or do the wheels again for another point of speed and a point of defense. Okay. Yeah, I think we do that. I think we go for that. And that's boosted our cart and the speed as well, which is good. So let's upgrade that. Oh, look, there you go. The wheels look far better. Right, and then we'll save the rest of the money. So then I think what we'll do is we'll get all the stuff now and the next part will be ready to head out. So let's just buy all the stuff. So they want, uh, they want pottery and clothing and wine indeed. Oh, and 
what the, the white thing is. Was that um was that salt? Well, right, salt's really expensive here. So clothes are good. So we could buy ourselves one, two, three, four, five of those. Uh, and they wanted pottery. Now, obviously, we can't get it cheaper here, but we can still buy it here. So why not do that? So let's buy some of that. Let's buy a couple of that. But yeah, clothes are obviously cheaper here, so we're going to make more off it. Let's buy all the clothes we can from here. The only thing is, how much are we making ourselves a target? I don't know. So clothes and pottery. Uh, and then what are the normal things are they after? Uh, meat, grain, and iron. Okay, so meat, grain, and iron. Can we get any of these for cheap? Certainly not meat. Uh, grain is a regular price. Iron is a regular price. Well, let's go for iron, possibly. Let's buy ourselves uh, the seven iron, like that, and then buy the rest of grain. There we go. So we've got capacity. Oh, 29, of course. We've got a little bit more capacity. So I think what we need to do is we obviously need to try and think about our 10,000 gold limit, but also we now need to start trying to boost our car to make it better, make it more secure, and make it more secrety. Um, also, let's pay that hunter to stick around for a bit longer, shall we? I think these two will stick around. I think you might depart. So yeah, we'll give you some monies. There we go. Uh, and that's it. So we're going to call it a day there. But I think we are going to continue with this. I'm quite enjoying this. Yeah, as I was saying, at the end of the last part, I was a little bit down. I was a little bit sort of, this is really hard. But I think now, I think now we've got the rare items, it'll start picking up. We can improve the car and improve the security and hire better people. And it shall all be absolutely fine. I think we'll be able to go around and do lots of cool things. Maybe unlock the... Um, and not the permit to go to these places because we can't go to these places yet. The mountains and the uh, the coastal areas can't do that yet. So, um, yeah, I think we'll come back. We'll certainly come back for at least another part. Let me know what you think about this, though, please. Let me know in the comments what you think about this series, whether you think we should carry on or whatever. The only issue about this is that I've recorded these three parts in relatively quick succession. So a lot of you might be there screaming at me in the comments going, you're doing it wrong. Press the button, change the wheels, do the thing. And I obviously haven't read any of those because I've recorded these three parts over the course of a day and a half because I've found the time to do it. So um, yeah, apologies if it seems I'm ignoring any comments. I'm not, I'm not intentionally ignoring them. <laughs> they are being ignored, but only because I don't know the comments at this point because you haven't made them yet. So uh, yeah, apologies if it seems like I'm ignoring them, but uh, I, will, I will obviously look at look at things and take things on board once we've started uh, putting the videos out. But uh, yeah, we're going to come back. We shall come back to this most certainly. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. Right, everyone, give me your money. Give me all the monies. The music is very sinister. Not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot. Catapult, man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not, the wall is coming down. Oh, God, some of them are huge. Oh, God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermelon.